couple of harvesters in our opening hands. We'll see if we like these more than Dothies, I guess. Right off the bat. That'd be good testing. I don't imagine I'm going to like these more than Dothy at all. Got a Chicago style pizza for dinner, but it doesn't look as good as yours and your mom's made. We actually made like a significantly better one the next day as well. We like figured out where we went wrong with the first one. We made like a significantly better one the next day when we had that crust that we made on stream when it rose completely. Okay, blood that harvester go. Well, the neat thing here is that I can actually kill a scion of Draco if they play one. I don't know if that's what they're doing over there. The fairy. All right, they might just be playing four color control. Boing. I'm just gonna replay harvester. Can loot away some of these bad things, I suppose. With one of the two treasures. We'll see what they're doing first. Make up for my right doings too. Got you. Bam. Done. Made up for my right doings. Oh, I'm missing a land. Okay, here's the plan. Cycle. Drew it terminate. Okay. So I'm thinking here. Got some options. After seeing the rhinoceros' win rate against Scam, does the matchup scare you? No, I think the matchup is perfectly fine. Hmm. What decisions to make? Do I think they have a solid two? If I could go with the line of Bolt, the Risen Reef, and try to attack Teferi, but if I do that and they have a solitude, then I can't kill the Teferi. So I kind of want to save this Bolt. I could use the Terminate. I think I'm going to use the Terminate and try to attack Teferi. If they have a solitude, I might. I probably just gonna play a second harvester no matter what. Second harvester, a goo. One of these can kill an Omnath, which is not irrelevant. Green, white, blue. Risen Reef again. I'm not gonna spend an undying effect on one of these and kill the Risen Reef. They could have Ephemerate. Oh, Fatal Push. Hmm, that's interesting. I guess I want to change my play a little bit now. Nah, I guess it doesn't. This is insurance against Ephemerate. Hope they use the Ephemerate. Tight. Now I can hold up crew cl Clue Crack, excuse me, plus Fatal Push if I need to. Although I kind of don't want to get rid of this season pyro. I guess I will if I have to. Here I am on the new spice. It's probably not good, just as a forewarning. But I thought we'd try it out. Since Burnt Taco has been talking about it and some other people have wanted to know as well. Excuse me. Yeah, some other people have been asking me about Blood Tide Harvester. And I keep saying, I don't think it's modern playable. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong and this card just is modern playable. Get rid of a fatal push here. Drew into a fury. I guess I don't mind playing a fury out here. Although it kind of plays into a fury of their own or a solitude. Mm -mm 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 Bum, bum. I think I'm happy just to like keep trying to pressure them here. Although I'm fairly certain they have a Fury or a Solitude in their hand. And as soon as they draw that fifth land, they're just going to Windmill Slam it. They'd just be more Leyline Bindings. But I do have the Season Pyro, which is pretty nice. There's Omnath. I was kind of afraid of that as well. And I spent my Fatal Push. Like another Fatal Push at this point. How am I liking the new stream schedule? Well, I haven't been the best at sticking to it so far. One day in. <laughs> Two days in, actually. But I do like the night streams. I feel a lot more energetic during these streams, and I think they're better content. 
Ooh. I don't mind if I do. When I wake up and do the morning streams, I'm, I feel like a zombie sometimes. I'm just like, what are we doing? What are we playing? Why am I getting dunked on by a spike deck at 5 a.m.? Red and 6? Okay. Risen Reef number 5 million. I can answer that, Risen Reef. It's not Black Cliff Cliffs, but at least I get to loot away Black Cliff Cliffs. Solitude, Omnath, Red and 6. Gonna have to take that Omnath. Well, not the best thing I've seen. They're gonna Solitude me. Get the draw card off of the Castle Locked win. I think they're gonna take this game. And I also took out my Torox out of the sideboard because I didn't expect this deck to be around very much. I you like the hammer list you ran for the challenge. I didn't run it for the challenge. I ran it for a prelim. I was okay. I didn't like the Solitudes. But the hammer list was like obviously just great. Well, thought Seize Bug got me. I get to fetch Solitude. Alright, this game's over. Go next. Can't beat that. I took out most of the stuff for this matchup. Unfortunately. Take the Fable. I don't really want the Terminates. I think the Terminates are a little bit slow. Also trim a Bolt here. Fatal Push kind of hits the same things that Terminate does. In the form of Omnath and Risen Reef that I really care about. I don't want to overload on them though. We'll submit like this. Hopefully the Flame Blitz is good. And Leyline Binding is a hell of a card. I just like completely took out my Torox. Thinking that I would not run into Elementals anymore. Every time I drew Solitude, I felt like it was the worst thing to draw, for what it's worth. I was like, why isn't this a proactive card that's killing them? Instead, it's like a reactive card that just doesn't do much. Ah, man. It's got a nice Flame Blitz in it, but I think this hand's a mulligan. Scamming a Fury doesn't do, like, anything against Elementals, because they have so many answers to it. I'm going to miss that Flame Blitz, though. This hand I'm going to keep and probably put back Fury. I know I want a big tourney. Doesn't mean that the solitudes are good. It means that the rest of hammer's great. I forrowed the prelim and I don't think solitude was good. Every time I drew solitude, I was like, I wish you were something else. Take your solitude, take your ren and six, leave you with a veil of summer, and then never cast a discard spell against you. I can have that veil. All yours. Whenever I draw a card, I'm usually wishing it was something else. I don't think Solitude came up a single time. I casted it for 5 and I lost that game. Or I hard casted it for 5 mana. Pass. Lightning Bolt. It's a bunny. Leyline Binding. Do I want to cycle this Flame Blitz? I guess I'll see. I'll wait until the end step. Yeah, I'm going to cycle it. For something better. Hopefully. It is a good card in the matchup, but not right now. This was a terrible draw, given that I didn't take the Veil of Summer. Well, if I held on to that Flame Blitz... Could have answered that card. What's up, Da Vinci? Not great. That's Blood Moon. So this is their last turn with colored spells for a little bit. Let's see what they can do with it. Don't cast an Omnath. Foundation Breaker. Hi. Not even casting the Foundation Breaker. The amount of disrespect is real. I don't think I'm gonna kill this Teferi either. Don't wanna kill this Teferi to bounce my Blood Moon, that's fine. Alright, hold up. They're gonna kill my Goblin Shaman. Maybe the plan changes. Alright, we are gonna do this then. 
I'm pretty sure they have an answer to my Goblin Shaman. Kinda sucks to do it. But I'm gonna discard this Thoughtseize. It's not doing anything against them. Draw Beseju. Oh my god, they drew Beseju and Foundation Breaker? That's disgusting. I get to Foundation Break my Fable. Jeez, those are some good draws. Do I know have a Veil of Summer in hand? I really value holding up this Veil of Summer for like no reason. I have another call, so. Man, this is disgusting. The draws have been quite good. Line up very well against what I'm doing. And they're on the mulligan to five, and I scam them on one. It's going to be such a sad game to lose if we do lose it. Which is looking increasingly likely with each passing turn here. Okay. Probably scooping in one more elemental here. Damn, it's the Seiju and the Foundation Breaker. So brutal. Yep, you got it. Back it in, back it up. So I get for taking my Torox out of the sideboard. This here. That looks good. Anyways, well, thanks for the tier one. Welcome back for a year plus one. Appreciate you. Challenge starts in two and a half hours. So we got time to tinker. Ragster. Ragster meet Ragster. What's up, Kerberos? Yeah, doing a little bit of scamming. Not super successfully against elementals. No, I'm playing scam in the challenge. <laughs> it's in the title. Magical in the title. 3 3 Shadow. Go, Blood Tithe Harvester. Impress me. I guess my expectations are too high, right? Definitely trading here. If they let me, anyways. Apostle's Blessing. Whoa. Good jump. I don't think I'm going to. Alright, I guess Apostle's Blessing. DRC and become immense last two cards and just play this and pass this is kind of risky I suppose come mess is 5-5 five, five, right it's 6-6 six, six? oh I fucked up I fucked up they turn on delirium I'm dead I thought it was plus 5 plus 5 should we read the card I'm pretty sure they go block and then become immense and then just eat this. That's why I didn't want to attack. This is actually good for me. I thought become immense was plus five plus five. No, I'm playing scam in the challenge magical. Yeah, I want to save the. Oh, I'm dead. I wanted to save the bull for killing them in case they like fetch the next turn, but. I guess I should have bolted in response. Hmm. I don't want to side out here. How many terminates do I want? Maybe like two out? I guess I don't really need terminate. 
We probably don't have a ton of big creatures. Not long until I force you upon my pet deck. Hell yeah. Marcus, thanks for the prime. Welcome back for the four months, buddy. Yeah, I guess I should have attacked and bolted that one turn. Turns out, I didn't think they were playing Team or Battle Rage, but here we are. Getting Team or Battle Rage in the year 2022, 2023. I don't even know what year it is anymore. I'm ready. You ahead. I don't really care too much about that. Unless they rip a removal spell off my deck, which would be kind of unfortunate. But I played that turn wrong mostly because I also thought become a mess was plus five plus five and not plus six plus six. So I didn't think they had any threat of killing me. I played against a become immense in a long time. It's been a minute. Veil of Summer. Okay. How many shadows they're gonna play? Definitely gonna trade here. Having a removal spell would be kind of nice. I don't think I value attacking this, attacking through this very much. I think I'm just going to go double harvester this turn, play tap black leaving pass. I suppose there's some world where I could die here. How many things am I blocking with? They have become immense teamer battle rage at six, seven times two, fourteen. Block with one. Guess I'm gonna double block it. I don't know. I don't know if this is correct. I don't know what I'm playing around either. Mutagenic growth into become immense. Into Team or Battle Rage? No. Okay. Collector Roof. Sure. Oh, well, they sure did foil all of my tokens. Gonna take the hit here. Need to connect and I guess play Fury as a jump blocker. Depends. If I had something good off the top of their deck, I might play that instead. Mutagenic growth. That does nothing. I guess jump blocker Fury is where it's at nowadays. Dead team or battle rage. Hello? Four damage? Dead to a removal spell, dead to team or battle rage. Not a good place to be. Also dead to Apostle's Blessing. Very surprised we survived that. Maybe I do want these Terminates if we're going to be playing giant cards like that. Let's go down on Fables. This doesn't seem like the grindiest of matchups. I don't know anything about Harvester yet. It's only been two matches. Can't keep it. Guess we can keep this hand. I was dead to so many things that last game. Could push this, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try to leverage E on one value. Plus, they might play a 2-drop here. Yeah, I saw the new Ren. I think new Ren's very powerful. Yeah, huh? I'll have Veil Summer up, huh? No blocks here, no effects, unless they go to like 
try to kill me. Which I don't think they can do. Kind of hope they just play a shadow here. They can play a scourge. Now it's EE -E on one's time to shine. I don't think they can have anything that's going to punish me for waiting on this. Maybe they're playing some sort of like indestructibility effect. Eye bar stand. I doubt it though. We're going to pop this. See what other threats they have in their hand. Apparently nothing. A cross and grip incoming. No kidding. Really confident they have a veil. Some of them are just gonna cycle at the end step here. Need more music, so let me more music. Hmm. So I could activate blood type, try to kill this thing, then maybe they veil. The mutagenic growth. A second blood type harvester so we can kill it through. A couple of combat tricks. I think we're gonna have veil of summer. Mutagenic growth, that's fine. Attack with Rogamon and see what they do. Let's that go. I'll play a Swift Spear, hold up Fatal Push. How are we feeling today? We're gonna jump block here. See what all the nonsense they have is. Mutagenic down to five. All right, and then a conceit. That's a really weird mutagenic to go with there, considering I was nowhere near threatening to kill that. Oh, Professor Layton. Since I'm Professor Layton, we're getting to six. Well, so far I don't mind Blood Tide Harvester at all. Number 65 attracts evolution list currently trying to trim down to 60 and saying fun to play. Thanks for the list. Yeah, no problem. It was a good list. Big fan. I think it was doing some pretty powerful things. I think if you wanted to trim it down to 60, you probably cut two lands and then three spells. I don't know what those three spells would look like, though. They have mutagenic growth. Sure. I don't care. I don't think I care. I just let this Rogavine go and be content with that. I think I'm just content with that. I'm just gonna play Blood Tithe Harvester and save my undying effects for Blood Tithe Harvester so I can just machine gun down their threats. I think the way this works, can I stack it so that way the Blood Tithe Harvester comes back? Why are some cards gray? What do you mean? Those are colorless cards like these. I'm confused. I don't know what you mean by that. Oh, you mean like this? The black and white? That's just the art. This is a special printing. Attack you mean. Sure. Just a special printing. So I think if I do this and I stack this a particular way, I can give something minus four, minus four. At least I hope this is how that works. It's like the same reason why these are full art. Like full art and then this was the special gimmick of the set. Return it. So returns. That makes another tr token. That's actually super sweet. This is such a good synergy. It's 11.47 in Italy, yeah. It's pretty late in the EU. Even if they mutagenic this, then it's still gonna die. I can cycle away one of these. Do get two poison counters on me. I'm gonna cycle away one of these uh, Spyros and try to hit a land, maybe. I think I'm actually gonna do that now. Alright, I'm gonna hit a terminate. Not exactly a land that I was looking for. But I'm tapped out now they know they can go for whatever infection shenanigans they want to go for. It's not great for me. That's a good synergy between Fate and Death and Blood Tithe Harvester though. Pack up all the accessories for your computer. RIP. Mm. 
do like the synergy quite a bit. It just gives something minus four, minus four if you have a feign death and a, a single blood death harvester. Seems really good. Blossoming defense. I'm gonna terminate that. I'm gonna end up at seven poison here. I think it's probably better than letting it live. I was supposed to get a blood crypt. That was a mistake. I actually thought I clicked on the blood crypt. That was a big mistake. I can hit me with this, and then I go to eight poison, dead to mutagenic growth. That was not good. Autopiloted there, didn't get the red source. All right, cease to mutagenic. No mutagenic. We survive another day. Can also rip a one mana removal spell. Scale up. If they do go for the kill, we'll try to rip a one mana removal spell off this blood token. Discarding a season pyro. It looks like they're gonna go for lethal probably. That is lethal. Not a good spot to be in. Damn, we drew a two mana removal spell. Just insulting. Hey, Omni, thanks for the prime. Welcome back for the whole year. Jeez, that's a long time. Thanks, Omni. I think the worst part was we drew them into the land. By attacking them with Rogobon. And two mana removal spells just to taunt me. It's like, why did you attack with the Rogobon, Dingo? You idiot. I don't think I really want Blood Moon. It was kind of slow as well, though. I'm going to take the Coligan's command because it pops artifacts, which can be relevant from a fable. And click submit. And it's not good enough. It's two pieces of disruption, but it doesn't do anything. So we'll ship it. This hand scams them and has a Ragavan, so we'll keep it, put the fable back. I think the real mistake there was not fetching the double red, which is like definitely on me. I was paying half attention. Got super punished for it. Rot Priest, Rot Priest, Veilus, I'm Remindable crew, so I'm going to take both Rot Priests. They don't have any other creatures in their hand, not even an Ink Moth. Very good for me. It's kind of like, this deck operates like Bogles, where if you can take their threats and leave them with a handful of pump spells, then you can just win very easily. Alright, this time we'll fetch Shock Blood Crypt, since our life total doesn't matter in this matchup. We don't have Blood Moon in the deck either. Bonk. I kinda hate that I like Blood Tithe Harvester. I've been talking so much shit about Blood Tithe Harvester. How it's like not a modern playable card in the slightest. I might be proven wrong. That's not good for me. Removal? That is good for me. Pretty slick top deck. Weather the storm. I don't think that's the card you want to bring in, friendo. Not sure you want to be on weather the storm against scam. Actually, if they're playing ban, I probably want these blood boons over fable and like a spyro. Or that. I'm gonna get my own rock priest. Probably kill them with infect with the amount of interaction I have. A one lander and a Ragavan and not much else going on. I probably have to ship this hand. Otashi. Thank you for the raid. Hope you're streaming well, my friend. Alright. This is what we're dealing with now. I think I put back. I'm gonna put back grief thoughtsies. Good chance I'm just going to scam this Fury instead and kill whatever creature they have. Thanks, Otashi. Play a Infector. I'm probably just going to kill it, but I could just Thought Seize them and then hold off. Because I may have followed Otashi. Be sure to. Friend of the stream. Even though he robs me of my cash. That's okay. We still like Otashi here. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to Thought Seize them while I can. And then... Oh, that's a lot of creatures. 
Weather the Storm, Glistener Elf, Glistener Elf, Blighted Agent, Veil of Summer. Weather the Storm. I'm going to take the Veil of Summer. I kind of want them to draw land and then go one drop, one drop. That would be so awesome for me. If I draw a red card, then I'll probably be happy scamming and killing whatever creature this is. They're going to go one drop, one drop. And draw a red card also. So we're going to kill all the things here. Everything. Everything dies. Because this abilities are only spells. Whenever could you control becomes target of a spell. Or infect. Facing the reality that is Modern Horizons 2. Not taking the blight in. I have more opportunities to kill the blighted agent. If I draw a land, I can kill the blighted agent. If I draw... I mean, I don't have to draw anything to kill the blighted agent. Just kill it. Bell Summer, I feel like it's a bigger threat. First, we'll see if they want to block. I doubt it. When we thought it sees them, they had no interaction. So, they didn't really have anything to leave up. Or Infect. We knew that they drew the land, so they had no interaction. Alright. Blood Tide Harvester looks quite impressive if we play against creature decks. But again, we gotta figure out, is this card better than Dothy against the decks that are trying to fill up their graveyard like Merc Tide? Which, I don't know. Probably not. I imagine against Merc Tide, I'd rather have Dothy. Although Dothy does. Yeah, I'll keep this in. I'll play turn with Raghavan and then have Fury in the back pocket in case we need it. So Thought sees them on two. I'm only getting to five. We have Gigantha. Could be on Tron. Could be on Breach. Could be on Prowess. Could be on Zoo. A lot of decks are playing Gigantha nowadays. Watery Grave. Zoo. Maybe. Thought sees. Oh, GDS. GDS makes the most sense to me. They're probably taking Fate and Death. Maybe Thoughtseize. One of the two. I imagine. I don't think any of these other ones are the picks. Hope I hit a land here and I can play Fable. Beautiful. It's a masterpiece. I want to get to draw a card. Don't mind if I do. Bhagavan made me a mana and drew me a card. That's insane. For a one drop to do on turn two. This card's so unreal when it hits like that. <laughs> Step away, Shadow Beige Infiltrator. We got a new monkey pirate in town. I think I'm probably been this Fury. We'll keep a Blood Tide Harvester though. Also done my double bolt here. Croaks of Thought Seas. Um, neither of these really do anything. So I'll take the Croaks though. They want a Thought Seas me pay two life and take a bolt, that's fine. Croaks are pretty much does the same thing, but painless. It's one of my bolts for two mana. So they have to fetch Shock if they want a Thought Seas me, which is a, probably a losing proposition for them. Bolt you, bolt you. Alright, Fable in. I'm gonna leave the moons in because I think the moons are quite good. I got the Thought Seasons though. Thought Seasons can get the fuck out of here. If they're playing Croaks, I'm gonna bring in Hearse because they probably have Underworld Breach as well. I don't think I want the Nile Spell Bomb, but I will take the Hearses. Nile Spell Bomb is mostly just for Underworld Breach, but I don't know how many. Well, I don't know what the split is between. Underworld Breach and Croaks that they're playing, so it makes it a little bit more tricky for me. I think I can draw a Bolt, because Bolt's like the most narrow removal spell. 
Stream an undying effect as well. Harvester, that's right, Harvester. Can't keep this hand. Gots to ship it. This was an idea by Burnt Taco. Teamer aficionado. And I thought I'd try it for myself as well. Hand's very awkward with the tap locked Wayne, but I guess I could block Wayne on one. Put back a fable here. I got taken out for Harvester, Dothy. Yeah, it's a problem. Removal? Second copy of Unlicensers. Maybe I should have played EE -E on one and then risked drawing the untap land. They are playing a challenge. Later. In... Time is it? Two hours. Going to be a long stream. I don't mind taking a couple hits from Raghavan. I do and I don't. I don't really have a choice here. My blood tithe harvester. Kind of messed up. Very messed up. How could you? After all we've been through. You just take my blood tithe harvester like that. Challenge starts in two hours. That's why I put a little arrow in the title. Modern and then challenge. Started before the challenge because I... Well, I overslept this morning. <laughs> so I have to make up for oversleeping. Playing a couple leagues beforehand. 60 card version. Miglos. I don't know how I feel about that card. I don't know if it has a home in modern. It's an interesting idea though. I definitely think you want to play 24 lands and not 23. 23 seems uh, a little low. I kill my hearse, but at least I'm turning off Raghavan for a turn. I'm not too upset. And it's all good. Getting another Raghavan. His EEs are looking kind of embarrassing, huh? Blackleaf Cliff's EE can go. Brief Lightning Bolt Hearse. A lot of options here. Could Lightning Bolt Hearse? I think I like that the best. Do I want to leave up this Lightning Bolt? Problem is that plays in the Drown and Lock. I think I'm just going to main phase Bolt this Raghavan. Take another 3 from the Harvester. They already discarded Raghavan to the Blood Token. They might have another one that they just dash here. Or just play out. I'm getting destroyed by my own harvester right now. Part of me wants to eat my own graveyard because of Drown the Lock, but I think eating theirs is just going to be better in the long run. Yeah, let's just cast this Grief. See what they're working with. I bet you they have at least one Shadow and one Drown the Lock in hand. Don't know if they're going to have any one mana interaction off of Watery Grave. Draw the lock, draw the lock, terminate, spell pierce. Death Shadow, we'll take the terminate. And I'm going to focus on eating my own graveyard after this. They can't drown anything pre-combat. Which is pretty nice for me. Maybe I want to do it before untaps. I also think I'm trading here. I trade here. What are my thoughts on the new run? I think it's a uh, pretty uh, good, good, good card. I want to say great, but I think it's good. Hmm. So if I hit the block here, that means they get to for sure drown this reflection. Maybe this was not a good block. Maybe I could have taken three, gone to five. That's okay. Drown. That's also okay. Good card for what format? Pretty much all of them, I think. And we're going to work on eating their graveyard again. E on one pass. I have to kill this Raghavan, unfortunately. So hand spell pierce, shadow, drown, drown. Or I guess minus one drown now. Two unknowns.
I think I should have probably main phase activated that hers. I think you're right, Retro. I think that would have been better. I guess I'm going to start working on my own graveyard now. Let's get rid of hers and Black Cliff Cliffs. I'm going to try to make their drown worse. Still stuck on two. Bird. Die, bird. Eat my explosives and my fable. Again, just trying to make the drown worse. I was considering crewing this hearse and just smacking him for a ton. But that lets him play Shadow, which I'm not a huge fan of. Could exile their third land, which I'm sure they're not happy about. I don't think I get to draw off the castle locked away either that last turn. Not that I had the mana I spent to terminate. Save the grief in there. We'll take bolt terminate out of my graveyard. If I draw, I'm gonna take a ton of damage. So we're just gonna pass. Shadow. Sub tripping. Could use a good draw here, like a Fury. It'd be quite nice. It's not what I was looking for. Yeah, this game's been playing Fatal Push for a little bit now. Actually, I think ever since the deck's existence, it's been playing Fatal Push. Fatal Push, good card. Shadow number two. It's like Mambo number five. These last two things out of my graveyard. I can figure out exactly what we want to do here. Which is probably just like bolt the shadow. I guess we crew the hearse, get him to jump, and then bolt the other shadow. 14 14, by the way. I'm going to beat the heat tomorrow and undecide what Obosh deck I'm going to bring. What do you think is better, Mono Red or Boros? Jeskai Obosh? Probably Boros. I think that Elish Norton and friends are quite powerful. I could take this opportunity to try to kill the Rogvon. I don't know. I have two feigned death effects in my hand, though. This game have a good Rhinos matchup. I think it's pretty even. What can Rhinos bring in that's good against Scam? They're just main game plans, like fine against Scam. Nothing special. But them having a lot of balance effects means that the actual Scam part of the deck isn't very effective against Rhinos. But Scam has a lot to bring in in the form of, like, engineered explosives and, you know, headed Sugu if you're playing headed Sugu. Necromentia is also really good against Rhinos. And now hit that awkward tension where Drown the Lock is good again. I think I'm just going to hit him with Rogavon. I don't want them to drown my hearse. That would be very bad for me. Tap my already tapped Blood Crypt. I guess. Dragster of their own. Alright. Once again, I'm going to keep working on my graveyard. I don't think I want to lose the lightning bolt, so I'm not going to crack the castle lock to win here. I will keep myself relatively empty-handed in case I need to. I prefer not to, though. I gotta make a decision. Do I want to attack with this Rogavon? I should crew the hearse. Because they've gone through two Drown the Locks, which I kn knew about both of those. Problem is, if they have a third or a Terminate, I get a little bit blown out by that. Trestown also gets me pretty good here. I think I'm just attacking with Rogavon. I don't know. I'm aware they have five cards in hand. I'm just sending him with Rogavon. 
This could go bad for me. It did not. Not yet, anyways. If I had a kill spell in response, then things go kind of poorly. So that drown lock number a million. All right. Hey, Burnt. I guess now I'll draw with Castle Lock Rain since I don't die to Bolt. Do die to Dashing Ragavan. Plus Bolt. You guys. Fine. I think I can stop working on my own graveyard at this point. Can't imagine they have too many more Drown Locks, given that they already went through three. I'm playing against Grixis this time out. Croaksa. I'll have to tap out for Croaksa. I think I'm happy going to one. Because any creature's going to kill them at that point. Must have Fatal Push in hand. Brief would still kill them. Alright, bring it on, Grokes up. I'll go to one. Bing bong. That's a good one. I believe that just straight up kills them. Unless they have multiple copies of Fatal Push. Yeah, you don't have it. You don't have it. Yeah, you don't have it. Bong Bucks. Gendrick. Let's get some Merc Tide matchup experience. Assuming Gendrick's on Merc Tide. He usually is. Gendrick? Excuse me? That's how that works, buddy. I guess he knew he was going to lose both cards anyway, so he's like, maybe, maybe my opponent messes up. Archmage's Charm. That's the classic Gendrick build. Would you lose two first match? Um, Elementals. I cut the Torox out of my sideboard because I didn't think Elementals was going to be prevalent, and I lost Elementals. Which is like, whatever. That's also like, whatever. Hotsies is out. Hearse is in. Give me that Terminate. Get out of your Blood Moon. I will take the Fable. And I'll take the Kick Command. We saw Spike lose to Mill immediately after cutting the Meme Member from the sideboard last night. I'm sure Zeriok was in there celebrating. Like, yes! Yes! Let's go, Mill! Yes! <laughs> Maybe we try a Blood Death Harvester in the challenge today. I have not been upset playing this card so far. Much to my surprise. I assumed I was going to hate Blood Tithe Harvester. I did click submit, right? It's just broken. It's a legendary double scam hand. Consider iteration Archmage's Charm Merc Tide Regent. Um, I guess I'm going to take consider iteration. Tapland. And put an even larger clock on Gendrick. If he wants to get value out of the Archmage's Charm, he's going to have to do something now. I'm not spell pierce, fuck. That was a really good draw for Gendrick. Aw, oh, man. That sucks. Now he's got Archmage's Charm up. Which I'm sure he's happy to have up. If I play out the Hearse, he's got an Archmage's Charm the Hearse, then I have to deal with a 7 7 Merc Ted. If I draw a Black Source, then. He can. Oh, another Spell Pierce. Alright, Spell Pierces have been good. Pretty happy to get that out of his hand, actually. I want to draw a Red Source there pretty badly. Didn't, though. Which means we're in trouble. Damn, the back-to-back -back spell pierce is brutal. 
into the bolt, into the die. Alright. Go next. Go next. I'll keep sand. Let's got the turn while Ragavan turn to hers. Nice curve. Hmm. I don't think I want to play hers into a spell pierce. I think I'm just gonna bolt him. Bolt him and pass the turn. She's really not interested in getting spell pierced. Now I'm happy to run up the hers into a counter spell. And not a spell pierce. Let me get Mountain here. Spyro drop, probably. Okay, Command Spyro, maybe. It's a lot of pressure for him to deal with. That all came down because of the man advantage because of Rogavon. Expect him to have Archmage's Charm here. That is fine. Probably gonna draw a card off this castle locked win. It cost me four life, but I think that's okay. Doesn't really have any pressure right now. So he inevitably draws a Merc Tud. I think we're gonna get there with incremental chip damage. I'm just gonna make Spyro tokens. Probably gonna draw with Archmage's Charm. Fire tokens plus grief plus bolt might lock it up here. Fury. Mark Ted. Reasonable. Boop, boop, boop. Two tokens. I will grief him, see what's up. Bolts the grief. Take your spell, Pierce. Attack you with everything, bolt you in the face. Call the game. Bonk. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>